I'm so glad that we're together. I'm so glad you're near. It's good when friends are together. I'm so glad I'm here. Welcome to the workshop. Welcome, welcome to my special friend. I'm so happy and delighted you are near today. I'm so glad you came to visit. I'm so glad I'm here. It's going to be a really good day, all because you're near. I'm so glad that we can be friends, learn together, grow together, talk together, sing together, a song or maybe two. One, two. I'm so glad you came to visit. I'm so glad I'm here. It's going to be a really good day, all because you're near. Yes, welcome friend. I am glad we are back together today. Did you notice what I brought with me today? Did it look like a paper cup? Did it look like one paper cup? Or did it look like two paper cups? Let's look a little more closely. Kind of looks like one paper cup, but if you look closely, it's two, one, two, one, two. You could take the two paper cups. You can put them together like that. You could put them together like this. You could put them together like this. Are you curious what we might do with these paper cups? Come on. I have many favorite artists, but one such artist whose work I've admired for many years is George Rhodes. He creates all different kinds of art. Some of the art he creates that I'm particularly fond of are ball machine sculptures. I got to see one of his sculptures up close. It's called Peace Ball Kingdom. And I'd like for you to see the movie we took of that sculpture. George Rhodes sculptures are audio kinetic. Audio means sound and kinetic means movement. So George Rhodes sculptures move and make sound. The sculpture I'm going to show you has a motor that aids balls through the machine. And as the balls roll through the machine on tracks, they make different parts of the sculpture move and make sound. Let's ask Smart Screen to show us that video. Smart Screen, will you please show us the movie, the video file of the George Road sculpture?
Thank you, smart screen. George Rhodes was two years old when he began to draw pictures of birds and trains. By the time he was 10 years old, he was building art out of old clock parts. He would go on to use the things he played with as a child in his work as an adult. George Rhodes' childhood imagining and pretending became a significant part of his grown-up profession, but it all started in childhood with imagination and pretend. When you imagine you can ride a rocket ship of cardboard to the moon, when you imagine you can go anywhere your mind can take you to, when you play you do the finest work any child will ever do, for it's the make-believe pretending that leads to creating and problem solving. That's the work children do. When you imagine, when you pretend, when you imagine, you can try most anything. When you imagine, when you pretend, when you When you pretend. Well, are you curious about these cups I brought with me today? Well, they're part of a sculpture that I'm working on. I wanted to try to make a ball machine sculpture too. And the last part of that ball machine sculpture that I'm making needs a part that I think looks like that. Two cups stacked together. But when the ball goes into the cup, I'm afraid it'll knock it over. So I thought if we put some tape around the two cups, it would hold it in place like so. So what we will need to do, remember anytime a child uses scissors, there must be an adult present. That's correct. But I wanted to use some yellow electric tape. Remember we used electric tape when we made the the bowling uh, set, made our bowling pins? Well today I would like to use yellow electric tape. One, because it's flexible. Two, because I think the yellow, the color yellow, would give nice contrast to our black cups. Good contrast of color. So I think that, well maybe just a little more. That's probably enough We'll cut the tape there. I tell you what, we'll go ahead and clean up as we go today. Put our scissors away and we'll put our tape, our tape away. And what I'll do is I will wrap our tape around the cup like so. Okay. Now, would you like to see the rest of the sculpture that I've been working on? It's right over here on the other side of the table. Let's look at it together. What do you think? It's our very own ball machine sculpture. This is the last part. This is the part that catches the ball. The ball will come out here and hopefully will land in this cup. Now, the ball actually goes in this cup. And these are just old cups that I had left over. And this is a paper cup I cut the bottom out of. These are all cardboard tubes. And what I did is I wrapped the cardboard tube with construction paper and with electric tape. So we'd have a nice contrast of color going down. These are paper cups at the bottom on each side that gives the sculpture some support. And so what happens is we'll drop the ball in here. It'll come down, hopefully, it'll come down this chute. It will sort of rub against this and make the smiley face move just a little bit. It'll come down, it will drop down this tube to here, and then it should catch this tube 
and come out and land in our cup? Let's find out. Now I have, this is not a marble, this is actually a gumball. This is a piece of candy, but it's round and it will roll. And I thought it would work well for our sculpture. So let's see if our sculpture works. I'm going to drop the ball in. I don't know about you, but I really like to make things with my hands. I like to make things, I like to make things, I like to make things with my hands. When I get angry and feel real angry, it helps to make things with my hands. I don't have to hit or bite or punch because I control my feelings, my angry mad feelings with the fun things that I make. I like to make things. I like to make things, I like to make things with my hands. I like to make things, I like to make things, I like to make things with my hands. When I get angry and feel real angry, it helps to make things with my hands. I don't have to hit or bite or punch because I control my feelings, my angry mad feelings with the fun things that I make. I like to make things, I like to make things, I like to make things with my hands. Let's have some of our fantasy play. Let's pretend that Mumbo has had time to recreate his rainbow bowling game. It's a brand new day in fantasy and Mumbo is with his friends, showing them his revisions. Let's pretend about that now. Mumbo, this looks great. I can't wait to play and test out the revision of your game. I know, Fuley. I worked all night, but it was worth it to make this game safe and playable for all. Show us what you've done, Mumbo. Sure, Boo. First, I made a rainbow bowling lane. You no longer have to find a rainbow. Rainbows that occur in the sky are always different. No two are exactly alike. And sometimes, many weeks can go by without a rainbow appearing. Making our own rainbow means we can play even when there is not a rainbow in the sky. Also, the curve of the rainbow is not as steep. So, you can see the gold pins and aim the ball safely. Second, I've made this special ball. It's universal. Huh? I'll explain. Boo, you can put your hoof here and roll the ball. If we turn the ball like this, Vuli, you can put your fingers here and roll the ball. If we turn the ball like this... Poe can place his wing here and roll the ball. Finally, if we turn the ball like this, California and Duncan Fife can put their paws here and roll the ball. It's a universal ball. It's one ball that all our friends can use to play the game. Fingers, hooves, paws, or wings. This ball fits all. Cool, Mumbo. May I give this universal ball a roll? Yes. Give it a try, Boo. Okay. I'm lining up the pins. Now, I'll roll the ball. Oh, look at that, Mumbo. The ball works perfectly with my hoof. Thanks for revising your game. You're welcome, Boo. Oh, oh, and look at that. You got a strike. Woohoo! Let me have a try, please. Sure, Vuli. Here, I'll set the pins up. Now, Vuli, turn the ball like this. And see? There's the holes to put your fingers. Neat, Mumbo. All right, Vuli. The pins are all set. Roll the ball. Beauty, look at that. You picked up a strike, too. Way to go. That ball works perfectly. Thanks, Mumbo. You're welcome. I tell you, I'm going to go call our other friends to see if they will come over and help test our creation. You guys keep playing and tell me what you think. All right, Mumbo. That sounds like a plan. 
So Mumbo fixed the game and it is now safe for everyone. He fixed the ball so it could be used by everyone. Mumbo is taking good care of his friends. Well, I'll come back later today and clean up our ball machine sculpture. You know, I was thinking about the last time when Boo's disability kept him from playing. Having the tools you need can make all the difference. This time, Boo wasn't disabled. This time, Boo had a ball that was made to fit his hoof. When people who are disabled or have a difference have the right tools, they, like Boo, can participate. I have a young friend named Kaylee. Kaylee has a disability and cannot walk well. Kaylee has a special chair that she uses to get around. Kaylee has a big sister who can walk, but for Kaylee to have the same advantages of getting around, she needs her special chair. Kaylee can go and do many of the things her big sister Bella can do thanks to her chair. I would really like for you to meet Kaylee and to see her chair. She's over at the community center today, and Kaylee's mom said we could come and see them. Would you like to meet Kaylee? Let me go get my jacket. Come on. Let's go over to the community center and meet Kaylee. Come on. On our way to the community center, I wanted us to stop by the playground. Kaylee, who we're getting ready to meet, is in a wheelchair. And it would be impossible for a wheelchair to go down a slide like this. Unless Kaylee has help at the playground, it's hard for her to use a slide and it's nearly impossible for her to use playground equipment like what's behind me. But I'd like for you to see something that creative people have thought up that help people like Kaylee who have special wheelchairs and other special needs. It's right over here. Come on. As you can see, a wheelchair can roll right in to this area and KK and children like KK who use wheelchairs can easily access this little house and play on the playground just like all the other children. If we come inside, we see that there's a kitchen area inside this playhouse with all different kinds of desserts. There are knobs that can be turned that Kaylee or anyone else could play with and enjoy. Right here, there's a place for mail. And children could pretend to put their mail right here through the mail slot. There's a clock on the wall and we can make it say whatever time we want it to say. There's even a skylight with a rainbow. Well, I thought you might like seeing this little playhouse. Let's go on over to the community center. Come on. Community Center is right up the sidewalk. Come on. Come on.
Well, here we are at the community center. Let's go on inside. Kaylee's mom said they would be here today, but I don't see anyone here. In fact, it looks like we have the place to ourselves. Oh, look, here's a note. It says, Mr. Chuck, that's me. Let's open it up and see what it says. Dear Mr. Chuck, Kaylee and I tried to call the workshop, but no one answered. Kaylee's therapy time was changed unexpectedly, and we had to go to her therapy session. We will call you another time when we are at the community center. Sincerely, Kelly. Kelly is Kaylee's mom. I really wanted you to meet Kaylee today. See, Kaylee uses a wheelchair, kind of like the one I showed you last time. Only the one I showed you last time was made for an adult. The one that Kaylee uses is made for a child. Her chair is a tool that helps her succeed. You know, I really like to think about people having the tools they need to succeed. This person is reading in Braille. Braille is touch reading. The raised dots represent letters of the alphabet. If someone doesn't see well, they can read moving their hands from left to right over the raised dots. This person is using a running blade. A running blade is a special prosthetic leg created for people who like to run. Well, while it was disappointing not to be able to meet Kaylee today and to see her mom, I'm glad that we had some time to take a nature walk and to think about people having the tools they need to succeed. Let's go on back to the workshop. Come on. People have the tools they need to succeed. They can do many of the same things others can do. We all have disabilities or differences. Some disabilities and differences, like mine, are not always noticeable. Some disabilities and differences are ongoing, and some can be changed with therapy, training, and determination. Other disabilities and differences are lifelong. Still, it's what we do with what we have that matters. Choosing to love others, being kind, and working towards equality for all people is something all of us can do in unique ways. I encourage you to look for ways that you can share love 
and encouragement despite any disabilities or differences you might face. I'm glad we can talk about important things. You know when we'll talk more next time. Next time, I will see you next time. We will be together next time. We'll sing a song or two or three. We'll sing it strong and merrily. Next time, when we're together next time. Next time, I will see you next time. We will work together next time. We'll talk together openly about important things we see. Next time, when we're together next time. Other people and other children do not have to be like you for you to like them. Some of my very best friends in this life look and act very differently from me. Still, they are dear friends. Some have different eye color and skin color and speak differently and dress differently. Some, like Kaylee, have special chairs that help them go from place to place. Still, they are each dear friends whom I love and cherish. I am so thankful that you and I can talk about important things. Remember, I like you because you are you. I'll see you next time.